Hey everyone, in this episode of the sedan build, we're gonna be focusing on the heart of the car, which is the engine. And what we're gonna be doing is building a modern 2.5 M20. On the block, we've got a late model 2.5 M20. We're using Molly pistons. These are 84.48, which is, you know, the block is bored over to 84.5. And these are great pistons, perfect for daily use or even some track events. But what this does is it allows us to start fresh because we've overboard it for this size. They come with brand new piston rings, all three of them, and these are great. We've got just set in just right now, just like that, so you can see how it looks. On the table, we've got set out a bunch of parts that we're going to be using on this build, but this is exactly the same parts you can buy on our website at seatune.com. We're going to be using everything that's proven, everything that we sell. We wouldn't sell you something that we're not going to use ourselves. So, and I'm going to go through everything and just kind of quickly go over some things. Gates racing belt, these are super strong, meant to last forever. So that's why we're using that. We've got a couple of thermostat housings that are new. We get a brand new M20 oil pump, brand new graph water pump, thermostat. Um, on the head itself, we're going to be doing Shrek upgraded valves, dual valve springs. So you've got a bigger one and a smaller one. On the valves, we're going one millimeter over, and these are super tech. So that's gonna be give us allow us more uh, flow, as well as these are lighter than factory. We've got King Racing rod bearings and Glaco main bearings. We've got KM rockers. These are heavy duty meant to last okay and then we've got head bolts we use a juicer a juice is uh really high end quality but not as expensive as oem but same same standards uh for fuel injectors we're going to be upgrading to the bosch late model these are great because they've got better flow rate uh better fuel dispersion but they don't change the characteristics so you're not changing the output you're just changing how the the fuel comes out on the gaskets we're going to use an l-ring so we've got a head gasket set and a bottom end set for the head again we're going to be upgrading to a shrek cam this is stage one we don't want anything too lobby we just want to have a little bit more fun and uh, there's the boxes from the pistons obviously liquid molly there and we're going to dress up the engine uh, with all these powder coated goodies here. And to assemble the motor, we're going to be using our M20 hardware kit. This is basically every bolt, nut, uh, washer, anything you need to assemble one M20 engine. There's nothing worse than going to assemble your engine and figuring out you're missing some hardware or that the bolts are uh, you know stripped they're dirty you have to clean them you get one kit and it has everything in the correct sizing everything is labeled let me pull this out and i'll show you everything so here's our m20 hardware kit and i'm going to show you everything that comes in the kit you've got intake metafold exhaust metafold alternator bracket power steering pump main seal cover oil pan pulleys front engine mount stiffening plate by the oil pan by the gearbox a valve cover at the cylinder head water pump and thermostat power steering pump starter and timing belt housing along with the ac compressor so basically everything to put one engine together it comes in this fancy bag here and you get everything labeled separately so there's no guessing involved
Hey guys, so thanks for watching episode two of the E30 sedan build. Uh, I think it's a lot of excitement going on for us behind the scenes. It's stuff we do every day, but I'm sure it's kind of fun for you guys. So we're going to end this episode there. I know, bummer. But the next episode is going to be the interior introduction, which I think you're going to like a lot. And I'm going to film a lot of details for you and a lot of, you know, I don't know, I'm going to say secrets, but a lot of ins and outs, little things that could help you with your own build. So stay tuned for that. And thanks for tuning in. See you later. Bye.